And then the second uh, hour that we have is just great gifts for uh, front of the tree and maybe great office gifts and things like that. But we're going to start you off with one of my favorite things of all time here at, uh, at HSN. And this is Wicked Whoopies, Whoopie Pies. Amy Bouchard is here. <laughs> I am so excited to see you. Happy oh, holidays to happy you, first holidays. of all. We, we can't have a holiday here at HSN without these. These things are amazing. And if any of you have had a traditional whoopie pie or, had the, or maybe, you know, mom baked them for you when you were kids, I will tell you, this woman puts her heart and soul oh, in these things, thanks. and they are so dang good. Now, a lot of times when we do it, we do variations of different flavors, but we thought for holiday, yes. Amy, it'd be a great idea to do the variety pack. So first of all, I'll tell you, they're all fresh made. They have the most amazing fillings and flavors, mm -hmm. uh, but welcome to the show. Oh, I will tell you. you what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a dozen of the whoopie pies. Yep. Amy will go through what you get in a sec. And then we also are giving you a dozen of the gift bags. Yay. So, and these are already individually wrapped, so you can drop them in a bag, put a little yep. bow around them, and you have 12 gifts to give out. So yep. anyway, you've been doing uh, this for you've been doing uh, this for a while, haven't 25 you? 25 years. Unbelievable. Almost 25 years, yes. Yeah. And this is this is variety we're calling the wicked big. Yeah. Because there's 12 flavors and it's just jam-packed with tons of flavors. A oh little something gosh. for everybody. So I'll just run down through the flavors because sure. there's a lot. We have 12. So you're going to get one of the uh, gingerbread. You're gonna get one of the classic. You're gonna get a red velvet banana. Oh my God. I mean, and the banana made with pure banana. Um, we've got vanilla bean here made with pure grade A vanilla beans. Uh, chocolate lovers. Our chocolate lovers, it's, if you're a chocolate lover, yeah, you will love it. That's like one of those chocolate oh, decadence pies, it is, right? It's more of a richer, almost like a ganache in the middle. Yeah. And raspberry and cream, vanilla cake with the vanilla filling and raspberry preserves in the middle. And I'm going to break one open for you in a minute to show mm -hmm. you that. Um, this is our maple chocolate chip and mint peppermint filling made oh with gosh. pure peppermint extract. Um, and then this is your pumpkin made with pure pumpkin and the peanut butter, which mm -hmm. is like the best that's, in our relationship on the planet. Yeah, that's, I, I don't talk about the peanut butter and chocolate very often because I can't. It's it's just too, it's too incredible to even <laughs> talk about. That's one that's just a no brainer everybody loves. So let's talk about and how they also come. also 12 gift yeah. boxes. So, oh. Because they all come individually wrapped, yeah, right? And look at the box. I gotta show you this. All right, so. What? First of all, delivered directly from our bakery. Doesn't sit in a warehouse anyway, right. anywhere. And then when we open the it bags, up, there's, we'll yeah, out. so you're going to get 12 gift bags at, for a bonus. Open it up with the tissue paper. And this is why okay. it's like funner than a box of chocolates. So much. 12 flavors right there, all individually wrapped. Yeah. So we say, you know, when you get them home, pop them in the freezer, yeah. take them out as you want. And when you cut them up, I'm telling you. Yeah, and we're going to show you how much it it makes but you oh. can freeze these by yes. the way they're good for 12 months frozen so if you want to order them now pop them in the freezer and then maybe give them out as gifts when holiday comes or use them for thanksgiving you totally can yeah. uh, and that's one of the most wonderful things about it but a little goes a long way these are very Big. rich so if you and good size so you can cut them into fours and we'll show you that yeah but let's Look which one do you have that, this is the raspberry and cream oh you have to open this oh one my up. god wait till you guys see this it's vanilla our vanilla whoopie pie cake and it's jam-packed with rich raspberry preserves just oozing out of there and our own homemade oh vanilla whoopie pie filling. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? You know what I love? I, so, let um, me tell you what I think, the, the, what uh, makes yours over the top, and I love all your fillings, but I love you. the cake. Your cake oh. is not like, it's like, you know, like you, you know the, how the perfect chocolate cake is, right? Where it's moist and it's all that stuff. But this has a little more of a dense feel yes, to it than, yep. than regular. Sometimes cakes are very light and airy. Right. This has a density, but it's wonderful. Yes. It's, it's like it's moist in the it way. It holds the yes. cream in, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, and like this is our peanut butter. I mean, our, we take our vanilla cream filling Gosh. and then we whip in smooth, creamy peanut oh, butter, creamy. and we just. Mm. Can I hold yes, this? Yes, you can I promise have I'm not going to yell. Yeah, like I'm not going <laughs> to I have to try the chocolate peanut butter. I haven't had this. I haven't had this in a you while. You haven't had it in a while. Yeah. That's right. And I want to show you also, it's kind of nice to cut them, you know. Mm. You can eat them with uh, your hands, so they're fun food, so it's kind of like oh you're being a little gosh. bit naughty. They're not uh, a fancy cake. Mm. They're a portable fun cake. And look at this. It's I mean, the chocolate filling is as, are, as uh, dark as the cake. What are those little, you know the little peanut butter and, and chocolate things, or what are they called, Buckeyes or something oh, like that? Oh, yes, that, yes, yes. You know that, that yep. this is kind of like that combination. Or a funny bone on steroids. Yes, yes oh my gosh. Yeah, that's funny what, bones yeah. with the chocolate on the right, outside. Right. Those are crazy. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is, <laughs> so that is so good. And I will tell you, 
you, like I said, split them up and yes. cut them into pieces because they are, you know, that way people can eat them and they don't feel so guilty about That's it. That's right. They can have a great bite. You can eat a half of this uh, as a snack during the day and then save the other. Remember, put it back in the freezer. They're really good frozen too, by the way. Yes, wicked yeah. good, like an ice cream sandwich. Yeah. The perfect hostess gift. You're going to get 12 mm. gift bags along with the 12 individually wrapped whoopie pies. So... And the other thing that's pretty great is because there's holiday flavors. You're getting like um, the, the gingerbread um, and you're getting the mint and the red velvet, perfect for, you know, Christmas. You could take half of these whoopie pies, stick them in the freezer for Christmas, yeah. save them for stocking stuffers, oh my gosh, and then yeah. have the other half for Thanksgiving. They are ideal office gifts too if you're gonna yes. be doing office holiday parties. If you're gonna be, if somebody says bring dessert to Thanksgiving, they're fantastic because you have all these different flavors. Yeah. And again, <clears throat> Let me go through the flavors one more time really quickly. I'll just mention them to you. So you get the classic, you get maple, chocolate chip, red velvet, raspberry and cream, banana, which I yes. think is my favorite, mint, oh, peanut yeah. butter, pumpkin, chocolate lovers, vanilla bean, and gingerbread. Yep. Where is a banana? The banana is... Because I have to oh, try. Well, Do you I have one that I can... Oh, you yeah. can, I can take them off oh, or a over there oh, or whatever. The banana would be see. right here. This right here. Banana. Oh, my God. Okay. Sometimes you oh. have to smell them. So we cut it in a qu uh, in, into a quarter. So 48 show, pieces. Get a shot of that. Thanks, Prince. So there it is. And you get an idea of how much filling is inside there. And then you can see how it kind of squeezes. Um, and what I love is, imagine the best, and it's not banana bread, because banana, banana bread right. has a tendency it's to be dry. It's a banana cake. This is a cake. Little hint of it's so good. I know, and it's pure banana. It it's so a much little, like banana. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. And it's because it's the real deal. We everything at the bakery we make in small batches. We're you know pumping out a lot of whoopie pies. We're doing oh, eight oh. to ten thousand a day just to meet our you know orders. I can but eat ten of those things. So we're still go. doing it the old-fashioned mm -hmm. way, whipping up our filling, making everything from scratch, and making it in small batches. Well, and you know whoopie pies. Uh, anybody that knows the history of them and all that, you know, been around for a long, long time. Yep. Most people would make these at home. There are different recipes. You have perfected it because... Thank you. <laughs> because first of all, a lot of times what the fillings in some of these pies can be almost has a greasy taste to it. Right. Um, there's a lot of cookie companies that kind of like cut the budget and kind of went more on yep. that, you know, on the on the bad oils in their frostings and it didn't taste good. Yours still melts in your mouth. Yep. It's the most delicious. You know, like the, a really good frosting that they put on a red velvet cake and how it just dissipates in your mouth. It just, oh, it's so good. You use that inside because that's the cheap way to do it. The yeah, cheap way I'm to do so it is to use the say, oils right. and stuff like that. We actually, this is trans fat free, right. which is nice. And the filling, it just melts in your mouth. It oh. doesn't leave that coating on the top mm -hmm. of your mouth. You're right. And I'm so wicked proud of it. It's, which, it's a recipe I developed, you know, many, many years ago. And um, it's been working out pretty great. I, you know, <laughs> and honestly, when you think about it, what a wonderful way to make a living is to make, make whoopie pies yeah, and, and watch people enjoy them. And right. I will tell you this too. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody that eats these and takes a bite out, you should see the look on their face because I think it almost it almost throws you back to when you were a child. You know, there yep. were some very famous, and there is a very famous company uh, that made cakes, and you all know it. They make the little ones, they make the chocolate covered ones, all those things. And I will tell you. This is about a billion times better than those. Thank um, you. And, and not that those were bad. They were right. kind of the original right. cake companies. Yep. And we were talking about funny bones and yep. all those things. Wonderful products. But these are more the homemade version. These yes. are the ones that there's no corners cut. They're not mass produced in a giant, you know, huge factory where right. nobody puts any love into them. You can taste the love every time you eat them. This is a brand new configuration for you guys. So if you've got family, if you've got kids or grandkids or big kids that want to act like little kids and feel like little kids, you yeah. need to get these. If you buy them today, they're $29.95 and free shipping. we are doing free shipping, free, free, free shipping. So get them That's delivered to your one. house. You'll love them. Amy is coming back a little bit later on in the day. Thank you so much oh, for being here. Oh, thank you. Great to see you. All right. <clears throat> I will tell you coming up in this hour, Hands down, the best ham I've ever had. And, I, and let me tell you, I've had a lot of hams. And uh, this ham is amazing. First of all, it's infused with cider, which gives it the most amazing, uh, just beautiful, not only uh, flavor, but the scent when you when you heat this up. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's delicious. It's got just the right amount of sweetness, and just the right amount of smoke and salt. It's only $59.95, so stick around. That ham is coming up in a bit. We've got our sweet dough coffee cakes. We got all kinds of great stuff right around the corner. Be right back. The holidays are here, and it doesn't get merrier than this. 
Don't miss our savings frenzy today only. Search savings frenzy on hsn.com and enjoy an additional 30% off some of our favorite items. Also, it's HSN's Best in Beauty Week gift edition. Get beauty favorites you'll only find here and exclusives from brands you love. Check in daily for limited time steals up to 50% off and get four flex pay on all beauty all week long on hsn.com. Find your Mary on hsn and hsn.com. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. <laughs> All right, so I had the uh, pleasure of launching this amazing product with this lovely lady, uh, Rhonda Pearson's here with us. You and I have a big history together. We Long go back many, time. many years. Yes. We work together. We're both crazy foodies. We That's love, right. We love stuff and love great food. And I will tell you that this this crumb cake is it's the greatest to die crumb cake for. you'll ever have. First of all, they should call it crumb cake because it's got so much crumb on top. But I will, I will tell you, first of all, hugely and well-reviewed on uh, hsn.com, customer pick over there. Like I said, we had the launch. Um, you want to talk about flavor. This is heavenly flavor. And whether you use this uh, as, a, as a way to kind of get you started in the day with, uh, with breakfast, use it as a snack for, for lunch, uh, for dinner, whatever, you are going to get the most amazing crumb cake ever. I have two offers for you today. You can either get a single what happened was Which last is, time feel this how heavy right, everybody this is four like, woo, and a heavy. half pounds <laughs> of crumb cake so and this will be this will make a boatload of servings we'll get into that in a minute or you can get two of these all right comes to your house you get to keep in the freezer freezer up to you, three months yeah whenever you need it on your counter for up to seven days yes. in the refrigerator 14 days now tell me about how this is made because, okay. uh, because this is part. the reason That's why right. this is so good is because if you think you can make a crumb cake at your house, yeah, you can go buy a box and you'll have a little crumb that big and no, it'll no, taste no. like it came out of a box. Why is this so good? Okay, so sweet dough, as a lot of you know, now that we've had it here, great ratings, by the way. Thank you, everyone, for mm -hmm. writing in. Um, sweet dough is old-fashioned European tradition from scratch. Right. Okay? So this is layers of the sour Sour cream, the batter, the cinnamon, all marbleized, and then it's baked. Then you pull it out, and the the it's a two-step process. So the crumbs or the streusel topping is on top, and that's the second part of it. And that's got all the brown sugar, yeah, right, and the oh vanilla. Gosh. So this is t different than a, a coffee cake, right? right? I know you're dying to try one. Well, so a coffee cake sometimes just has a little bit of crumb on top, but it's just a cake. And it's baked all at once, all at right? Once, right. Okay, so I'm just okay. going to move this out of the way and put a put the. I know because you picked this out earlier yeah, yeah, that yeah, this yeah. is the one you wanted. So the the idea here, old fashion again European history you're gonna have two-thirds batter one-third right. uh, streusel or crumbs very very moist I'm gonna cut this in half a piece for you yep. and as I do this by the way you, I want you to notice that this this large piece I've just cut in a quarter for him this is the mm -hmm. quarter piece here this is a half you're getting 12 pieces that you can have for breakfast for lunch for dinner what do you think it's, I've never had anything like it before, I will tell you that. And you know what it is? It's the sour cream. It's because the sour cream. When you bite in <clears throat> to the, because the, the streusel topping, that's like I'm well, drooling on it. That's just ridiculous right on the top. It's like every kid's dream, you know. I wish I could get the little Drake's coffee cake with more of the coffee cake topping. Right, right, you right, that? right. <laughs> Well, now you're getting that. But the cake itself is not dry. So moist. It and is, not too sweet, you said last time, no, right? No, no, no. It's, it's, this is, that's the thing is that you have the sweetness on the topping, but the cake itself is not that sweet. Combined, it's amazing. But And then to have that little bit of cinnamon uh, streusel and then the swirl inside makes it so great. You are of a choice of getting the four and a half pound single or the two pack, which is when you take one out, you can freeze it. Give these as gifts. I will tell you, it is amazing. But what is it about, <clears throat> you told me this a while back. Why, what does the sour cream do to the cake? So the sour cream, is, it's almost like marinating, right? Mm -hmm. When you have the sour cream infused with this batter and the layers that go on with the wonderful cinnamon that we bring to you actually from India, what's happening it is, is it's, it, it infuses, the flavor infuses, and so over time it's gonna get better. We actually recommend that you take 
these and put them in your freezer, keep them in your freezer. And when you want a piece for a lunchbox, for a group of people that popped over for breakfast, <laughs> let's face it guys, it's Thanksgiving time oh coming up, the gosh. holidays, Christmas. It, the, the great thing about a crumb cake because you keep it in the freezer, it's gonna taste better over time. And it's again, better. better, and right, look, we've yeah. got it here with ice cream. So think about it for dessert, yeah. right? Put some caramel, some chocolate on oh, top. Yeah. Here it is for breakfast. I wanna just pull this up and show everybody inside. You've got all the layers of crumb cake and the fruit and the compote, breakfast so it can be a little bread. Right there <laughs> there you go. It. Look at the plate here. You can yeah. just add it on the side. You put it with some eggs and some ham. By the way, the right. ham is coming up. And use it for dessert. So all of these ways, and again, seven days on the counter, 14 yeah. days in your refrigerator, and up to three months. And I will tell you this from freezer. personal experience, because uh, Rhonda gave me one of these. I, I, when she gave me the last one, I put half of it in the freezer because she said, "Put it in the freezer." Uh, if you're not gonna eat it, because it actually gets better. It's like, you know when you put like a lasagna or something right, in the freezer? Right, right, better over time. Out, and over time, it kind of, the flavors just get better. It's that sour cream continues to tenderize and, and moisturize the cake itself. You'll notice what that, when, even when Rhonda cuts this, or look at look how it doesn't fall apart. No, Normally no, Normally a crumb cake falls apart. That's because it's so rich and so wonderful. Look, even the streusel topping really holds itself together, considering I mean, that means that there's enough butter in there. There's enough oh, sour cream in there. Oh, absolutely. Oh my gosh. And again, this crazy. is a recipe. Now we've introduced sweet dough products, right? Yeah. As sweet dough, we brought a great coffee cake. This mm. is our crumb cake. Again, it's a different process. This is a two-step process, but great ratings. You guys love it. We're gonna bring you a lot more products, mm. but they are a group of old time bakers. Yeah. Over a hundred years of experience between these four guys all European, all bring over. One of the guys is, for, is from Germany, so this yeah. has a little bit of German grit to it. I love that, and you told me these are, these are four guys that, right. that put this together. They use these artisanal methods, all right? It's old school, okay? Everything is is still done the way it used to be, and that's why you can taste that, that the, this. And you'll notice, if you come take a shot from top, you'll look at how that, that streusel topping, look how you can see it's been done by hand. You know, you have, I mean, look at how it's all, nothing is the same. It's not stamped out. That's right. You it's see nothing the, like anything you'll get no. at a grocery store. You see the care. Look at, look at this. I'll pull some apart. Look at, look, see how I remember when I was saying how it holds together? Yeah. Look at that inside there. Look at, look at these giant, <laughs> look at that. I mean, that's just crazy. And remember, you're going to get two of these. Which is 24 pieces, right? Or mm -hmm. 48 if you cut them in half. Yeah. Or you can cut them this small just for appetizers. I've been to a party where people just serve this. Pop it in your mouth. Oh little, gosh. little treat. I'm going to give you some more to take home because they are so delicious. And uh, we're going to be back later today with it again, right? And, and this is the, um, the streusel the crumb toppings that he's talking about. Again, this is sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, oh cinnamon, oh. all together. How good would this be to heat it up, too? Oh, <laughs> pop it in the microwave <laughs> for, right? I recommend, only 30 seconds. And look, at there's that layer of cinnamon underneath. So again, if you're thinking about the holidays, you have a big crowd coming, let me tell you something. You want this in your freezer for breakfast, pop it out for a snack pop it out for dessert pop it out yeah and there you go you've got it all right so one of these uh, four and a half pounds is 29.99 today and if you want to get the two pack you get a little bit of a discount it's 54.99 this is free shipping and handling and you can see your flex pay down below uh is either ten dollars or 13.75 on the on the uh on the two pack go for it you're gonna absolutely love it free shipping and handling Rhonda, thank you my dear oh I'll leave Great you shop. some back there you in the are, kitchen. You're the best. You're the best. All right. You're going to love that as we continue on. Still to come a little bit later. All right. The apple pie. Has anybody, have you guys tasted that apple? That, that apple pie is ridiculous. And it's huge. That apple pie would probably serve 10 or 15 people. It is giant. We have the single at $39.95. It is actually baked inside that, that uh, apple pie bag. It's so thick and so delicious. And I will tell you right off the bat, if you like sour kind of apple pie, don't get this. This is more of a sweet apple pie, and I love, that's how I like apple pies. What do I want to eat a sour apple for? Would never want to do that. Anyway, uh, that's coming up in a little bit. Kelly Diedring, 
Come out here. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I feel good because and this, I brought is the my, chocolate. this is my first Giannis show with you of the holidays, right? Yeah. I haven't done any yet. Is it really? We're this almost sold out. I think this is the first, well, it sells out every <laughs> single time. It sells out every time. We do all kinds of different configurations. We do the big tins, we do the little tins, but this is, to me, is the best one for gift giving for holiday yes. because you're gonna get four one pound holiday assortment tins of the best quality uh, chocolate you will have. It's made by Master Chocolate, uh, Chocolate, Chocolate I got that right. <laughs> uh, it's over a hundred year old family a company that runs this business. Yep. The freshest ingredients ever. You get 14 flavors and you get four separate Ten. holiday gifts. Yes. And they're all individually wrapped, all the chocolate. Free shipping. Yeah. yeah I mean, for the free shipping is hands down the winner right. there. So, you know, it's the uh, best time to shop for food. It, yep. it really is. So you can see, and I'm pouring out four pounds because I want you to see exactly what four pounds of gourmet chocolate looks like because maybe you're getting these and you're going to keep two pounds. Then you have two more pounds to gift away to your favorite neighbors, or maybe it's for the school teachers, or for the bus drivers, or for the nail technician. Whoever it is that's on your list, they will have no idea that you've spent well under $20. So if you think about the math there, that's that's $15 a gift. You can't get $15 a gift for no even way. a nice bottle of wine. No way. I mean, and you're getting the most gourmet decadent chocolates, and you're getting all four tins. I love the tins. And the, tins, the tins are tins super great? cute. Yeah, you grab two and I'll hold two. So this is all the tins that you get for this price for about $15 a piece. Look how cute are you those kidding are. me? And please understand, this is not drugstore chocolate. No, 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 okay? no. Okay, you have to understand. Yep. And we're gonna go through all the different flavors and everything that you get. Uh, but Kelly's been uh, with this company for years yep. and she knows a lot about the process by which they manufacture these uh, and, uh, and, and the care and love that they put into oh. it. Each one individually wrapped, yep. each one individually labeled. With, there's, a little bit, there's a little chart that tells you everything yep. uh, that you need to know yeah, that, that gives chart. you all the flavors. Yep. But let's go with some. Let's, okay, let's, let's talk, talk about, about the, the, our number one and number two, which are yeah. dark marshmallows marshmallow and our uh, milk chocolate marshmallow. Now, you're getting 14 flavors in each tin, and that's in equal parts. So it's a full pound of chocolate, and it's 14 flavors in each pound, and it's all in equal parts. So here's the dark chocolate marshmallow right here. It's one of our number one favorites, and then also the milk chocolate marshmallow. Wow. And every flavor is amazing. This is not like you're gonna get, you know, be left with, you know, a handful of this, that, or the other flavors right. that nobody wanted to grab. Every flavor, and we have a whole chart we'll, we'll flash up, is decadent. It's gourmet chocolate at its finest. Um, and you can see here from the French mint, I love the French mint, to the yeah. peanut cluster, the white chocolate pretzel cloud, that's that oh. sweet and salty with the white chocolate. Look at them all. The marshmallow with the dark and the milk. Okay, the pecan snapper is the whole roasted pecans with our homemade caramel. The peanut butter guy is our homemade peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And it truly is, uh, you would sell a kidney if you wanted that recipe. <laughs> like know, really, it's so good. I love like, you know, the caramel with sea salt. You like the white yeah. chocolate. So I the like, caramel with the sea salt. I like white chocolate with the pretzel because the pretzels are salty. Yep. And I also like the salt one on the um, on the caramel one as well. Yes. All right. So then the haystack with the dried coconut. Um, we have the double dark silk. That's a truffle. And then the English mm. toffee is like that pure English toffee. Tastes like grandma's English toffee. And then we have the dark raspberry mm. with real raspberry. Wow. And then the milk chocolate cherry with, uh, you know, made with real cherry. So this is what we're talking about. We talk gourmet. Let me open up the dark raspberry. So it's our dark chocolate, which is not bitter. Yeah. So anybody that doesn't like dark chocolate oh, still so is probably going to love the Giannis dark chocolate. And then look at that raspberry made with real raspberry filling, right? So every single tin that you're getting has all 14 of these flavors mm -hmm. individually wrapped. So it's not like you're giving a box of chocolates where back in the day you would grab a box of chocolates at the drugstore. It would be gritty. It would be waxy. Mm -hmm. And everybody that wanted a piece of chocolate had to pretty much touch every one of them right. to figure out which one they wanted. Disgusting. They'd lift it up, they'd look on, you know, they'd sort of circle it, they might poke their little finger through it. That's not is what that's not what's happening here with Giannis because everyone is individually wrapped. Love it. I'm, I'm which sitting, one are you dying I'm, over? Well, I just, I had to finish up. Yeah. Actually, I just did the this toffee. This the coconut. Okay. I did the milk chocolate. See, I'm the not toffee. a huge dark chocolate Okay, fan. but you like our dark chocolate? I do like your dark chocolate. it's not bitter. Well, yeah. especially the, the one with the cherry inside. Yes. I think that's fantastic. Look at the coconut. What I love is the assortment. They're all beautifully made when you look at the detail work to actually how pretty they are. Yeah. They're all different shapes, which it makes it and a lot of fun, huge. too. And yeah. If you look at the trays that are out in front of here, you can get an idea for the for the shapes. But let's talk yeah. about how they're made. because. Yes. So there's, these a are, lot of, there's a lot of drugstore chocolate out there. Yep. And I'm not 
poo poo and all those sure. companies. I know they're out there, and <laughs> I know they'll do they do fifteen or twenty dollar boxes of candy, and they're and they're decent, okay. But I will tell you. This company, well, let's talk about history. I think we yeah. have a picture. I'm pretty sure it's well black and white, over, right? It is well over 100 years. They have been here uh, in the United States since 1910. Yeah, that's <laughs> a long time. Ooh, our wow. lights just flashed. Man, since you 1910, said that the lights, the went, the lights out. went out. Like, wow. Since 1910. Okay, by the way, if you love supporting small family companies that are, you know, this is not, we're not churning out millions of pounds of chocolates like the companies you were just referencing, right? We do small batch chocolates. They're uh, all made in America, obviously in the heartland of America, mm. in Ohio. So love that they're made right in the Midwest. And it's a small company. So at some point throughout the holiday season, we will stop production on wow. our HSN orders because we only only withhold, uh, uphold the highest quality standards. Mm. So when you talk about chocolate, there's always good, better, best. And what Guy was referring to, those box of chocolates you get at the drugstore, maybe the grocery store is good. They're good. I mean, even bad chocolate's good, right? It's like bad pizza is always a, yeah, it's yeah. a pizza. Yeah, tolerable. Okay, right. but then there's decent chocolate. Then there's the best chocolate. And that's what we're talking about when we talk about Giannis. It is the best. It is gourmet. It's super premium. It's the finest ingredients. And to get it for $15 mm -hmm. a pound today, because you're getting getting four in, plus you're getting the tin, the giftable tin. Mm. So you're getting four gifts essentially, or keep them all. Nobody's judging. Keep four pounds of chocolate in your yeah. home. Maybe you are the grandma or the aunt or the uncle that has everybody over. And now everybody can go through and pick their favorite because every single chocolate is individually wrapped and labeled. You know what I love? I just had the sea salt caramel. Yes. And they make the sea salt, um, the sea salt pieces are big enough so that when you finish the caramel, there's still a little bit of salt Isn't at the it end. amazing? It's so... It's so good. And, and you know, anybody out there that's like a chocolate aficionado knows what I'm talking about. It is so good. But yeah. to get four pounds of the most... Gourmet. Un un ...incredible quality. You have to realize, if you go to a chocolate... I'll give you an example. You know, this is the caramel factory. and the sea salt I have been up to about. Pigeon Forge a couple of times. Yes. And there are a lot of fudge companies and chocolate companies up there. There's your salt, You will dude. pay $25 a pound yes. for chocolate up there Easily. that is handmade. Yep. Why do that when you can get it here for $15 a pound and it is top of the line? You need to try this, read the reviews, the product it speaks for itself. Yep. This is, a, this is a family owned company that is over 100 years old. They have, think about it, who's, who's in business for 100 years, right? <laughs> Only the best people, right? right? Think about it. I mean, you know, you're talking about us and look at our shopping networks, right? Which ones have been around the longest, <laughs> right? The ones that everybody Good wants to, to shop with and that's, and that's yeah. it, QVC yeah. and HSN. Yep. I mean, we, we've been around forever yep. because we try to associate ourselves the best we can with the best with the quality, best quality yep. vendors and the best quality products. And, and let me tell you, it's by the cherry. way, that- That's the cherry. And it's made with you, real cherry filling. That is so amazing. And I was, it's so funny because I don't like Chocolate covered cherries. Okay. I think they're disgusting. Okay. That's just me. Um, it's just weird. It's gooey. You know that is so that good. Cherry, which is like there's a candy. It's a cherry filling. It's a candy, but made with real cherry. There's a famous cherry candy out there yes. that does I this, and I will tell you, this is better than theirs. It is. Because the mass-produced cherry candy that's out there is mass-produced. Yep. This doesn't have the same flavor. Well, and that's the difference. So when you purchase this, you're purchasing not only made in America from that small family owned and operated company, oh, yeah. the, the Giannis family, but you're purchasing quality. I mean, this peanut butter chocolate candy right here, which by the way, look how massive it is. It's homemade peanut butter, okay? And this is made, and not even created yet. So this hasn't even been made, right? So when you, order, then it will be made. So think about the drugstore box of chocolates that you pick up on the way to the party. And you sort of feel a little bit guilty, maybe in the back of your mind, that you didn't put a lot of thought into it, right? Yeah. Because it, you know it's going to be good, but not great. This is the opposite of that, because you're going to have this, and maybe you attend three or four holiday parties. I mean, somebody like Guy, who's probably very popular, probably gets invited to a few holiday parties a year. Yeah. You could bring one to each party. Maybe one's for the family party, one's for the, the Christmas party at work. There's so many people ones on for, your list. You know, to keep at home. School teachers. Yeah, and you gosh, have a, yes. Somebody that's, that maybe uh, takes care of stuff for you and gets your mail, your Look neighbors. At this idea. I mean, and, and here's the other thing I love about, about this is that for a lot of people, the big four, five, or six pound bucket is too much for them. Yeah, it's a lot. All right? You know, if you're, if you're an empty nester, do you want six pounds of chocolate? Maybe you don't. What's nice about these is that we're giving you an option to be able to say, okay, I'll keep a pound for me. And gift away I'll, three. I'll give one to my neighbor. Yes. I'll give one to the, to the postal worker. I'll give one to, you know, my babysitter, whatever. 
and you have four individual gifts. When were you able to cross off four people off your list at, at a price of less than $60? Think about that. $15 a gift. Yeah. I mean, most gifts nowadays, you're talking $20, $25, and they're mediocre gifts. I know. Do you know what I mean? Look and, what we did here. Well, and, the, and consumables are fun because yes. people... Uh, here's, Everybody here, likes chocolate, right? Right, but a lot yes. of people won't buy themselves chocolate. Right. They won't buy it for themselves. They'll yeah. be like, oh, you know, I'll get it as a gift. Because yeah. first of all, when you get it as a gift, you can't say no. And a lot of people are like, I, I just don't want to eat the chocolate. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. If you get it as a gift, you're going to eat it, you're going to love it, and then yep. you can still share it yeah. with your own family. Yeah, and that's what I mean. And I love this idea, too. Maybe you have a little extra money to spend on somebody. Maybe it's your cousin's party that you're going to. You could do the little bottle of champagne. You could do a full bottle of wine, so put a little nice. basket. Yeah. How cute is that? And all we did was add a little bit of greenery. And by the way, it's worth mentioning that not every one of these tins screams Christmas, right? Because you, maybe you're gifting it to somebody and you don't know sure. exactly what holiday they celebrate. This just happens to be a wreath. You know, yeah. um, this one is just a scene of snow. Two of them are sort of non-Christmas. This one has a Christmas tree, so that yeah, one's that, very Christmas. Yeah, that, that one's pretty Christmas. Yeah, there are two of them are about, real, this is ornaments. <laughs> yeah. So I would say two are Christmas. Hey, if you want, you can always pretty, spray paint the top if you yeah, want to get rid of the whole holiday thing. Two are pretty generic. That's just <laughs> yes. worth mentioning. But I love the fact that they're individually wrapped, right? Because you never get that. When you go to the mall and you buy the super premium chocolates. They're in a box. You they're in a box, yeah. yeah. And trust me, we're not the only well, super premium. Well, they start premium. going stale once you open the box. Yeah, and they don't, they're not wrapped at all. So anybody that you have no idea who's been touching that. So I love that no. every time you open this, it's wrapped for freshness. Well, and, and it's six to eight month shelf life. Yeah, too. and it's nice to know that it's not sitting in a box and a crate on a pallet in a warehouse where, where I will tell you yeah. most of the mass produced chocolate, that's when it's done. And yeah. and, and they use inferior ingredients. And, and listen, that's because there's greedy. a price. There's a reason there's why a price if you get chocolate and it's ten dollars a pound, yep. there's a reason for that. Yeah. Okay. It's they, because chocolate is expensive yeah. to make. It's yeah. these are all real ingredients. So that's why uh, we offer what a great, great um, uh, um, price on these. We're gonna slide over because we have some other options for you from Giannis. And I have actually um, I don't know if I've seen seen these before, but yeah. I haven't seen these, these I think configurations. This is a new configuration for this so, year, yes. So here's what we're doing. We're doing uh, the uh, the Giannis dark chocolate mini pretzels in a two pack mm -hmm. where you can get two milk chocolate or two dark chocolate. Yeah. If you would like a two pack and you'd like to mix one dark chocolate and one milk chocolate, we can do that for you as well. These are only $32.95 to get these home. And I'm telling you- Have you tried this? The chocolate pretzel combo. You well, gotta, I have it. I've had this. Try. I've only had the pretzels in the white chocolate. Okay, try this. Or do you like dark? Oh, you want milk? No, give me I want milk. you to do milk. Okay. So if you've ever gone to the grocery store and purchased that generic brand of chocolates that are chocolate covered pretzels, wow. you'll never do that again. These absolutely blow that generic brand away. Oh my God. It's the Giannis chocolate, that super premium chocolate that we're talking about that's refined for days, right? And most chocolates are refined for a couple of hours. Mm. Ours is refined for days. That sugar is creamier, right? When you refine it longer, yep. it's smothered in these beautiful, they call them mini pretzels. I would call those pretty standard size, larger pretzels. I like the size because you can pop one yeah, in and you're on Yeah, pop one in and, and you can just grab a handful and that sweet tooth of yours is totally fulfilled. And that's what I love about Giannis because I don't want to eat a whole piece of cake or maybe I don't even want to eat a whole cupcake. But I can grab two or three of these. My sweet tooth feels good because I've had real ingredients, you know, yeah. gourmet ingredients, but I am not just shoving, you know, the whole piece of pie, you know, in my face. Well, well, that's I, only for I one do, day. I, do have a pie that I know. I was thinking of the pie. Face. That's only on Thanksgiving Day. You're <laughs> right allowed to do that. that. <laughs> you're not going to no. shove a you know a piece of pie every hey. day. When you have a craving, you can grab a beautiful I chocolate covered pretzel. And, you can, and these are great at work. Keep them on your desk. And you, get, you get a pack of two. You get a pack of two yes. of these for uh, thirty-two ninety-five with free shipping. We're going to go to our phones. We're going to say hi to Jan. Jan, hi. I guess has uh, enjoyed the chocolates before, and she loves and wants to tell everybody about it. Hi, Jan. Hi, Jan. Hi. Hi, Jan. Tell me about your experience with Giannis chocolates. Yes, I ordered them last time they were on TV, and uh -huh. I'd never tried them before. And okay. when I got them, oh, my gosh, they were so good. <laughs> oh, good. They're actually the best chocolates that I have ever tasted. Oh, my gosh. The chocolate Isn't... just melts in your mouth, and it's yeah. so creamy. So is you it know, everything we say it is? Yeah. Oh, good. And good. the French mint and the chocolate oh, peanut butter yeah. are my favorite. They're when nice. I the get French. These, I'm going to do what I call the <laughs> sips and sort. Yeah. They aren't going to get my favorite. They'll no. get the other. You just, because they're wrapped, you can go through it and pick out your yeah. favorite. You reserve the right, Jan, to take the yeah. ones that you love. And you know, the nice thing is, the other ones that you did maybe aren't your favorites, they're probably going to be somebody else's favorites, yeah, right? Yeah, true. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because they're. <laughs> 
so good. I wouldn't <laughs> have ordered them if I didn't think everybody else that I'm giving them to would yeah. enjoy them. Oh, well, good. I'm glad. Because, you know, when we talk about chocolates, we always, we wonder, you know, are we overselling this? And not yeah. with Gianna's, no, right? Yeah, so good. When people get it home, they love it as much as we do. I, and I think when you buy, a lot yeah. of times, you know, when you shop off TV, you think, okay, how good are these chocolates going to be? But then you get them home and you're like, okay. oh my gosh, these are so good. Now, these are, you know, it's, it's this, co this family company is great and it really tastes like you went to a chocolate shop and got yep. incredible chocolates, right? Right. They oh, are excellent. I've good. tried other chocolates. Uh huh. You know, some of the name brands. Sure. And these are by far better. Yep. Oh, they're delicious. Absolutely. Well, Jan, I appreciate Thanks you. For Thank calling. you so much for sharing your uh, your views on the chocolate. Have a happy holiday. Thank you. You Bye, too. Jan. Thanks, honey. Bye-bye. Bye, Jan. All right, guys, so just about out of time. We have about 30 seconds. Let me tell you again. When you order, yep. you get two of the tins, okay? You either get two in the regular chocolate, milk chocolate, two in dark chocolate, or if you want to get one of each, get one of each. And I will tell you, I agree with you. I'm not a big dark chocolate fan. This can, dark chocolate I like. It's good because it's not bitter, right? right? So we actually have a different recipe. Our dark chocolate yes. is a super premium dark chocolate, so it's not bitter or yeah. waxy. And you're getting a two pack, so maybe you keep one and give one to, you Love know, your coworker it. or keep, client gift. Keep them at the house Great in case somebody gift. shows up and you need to give them something. I like that idea. All right. I like that neighbors. So if you just happen to pop over my house. I know what I'm getting. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you chocolate. I, I have yeah. a few of these already. I you probably do. I'll figure something out to give. Thank you, Kelly. Now Thanks, I know where Mom. I can pop by for exactly a gift. Exactly right. <laughs> hey, also available. You like? You, do you like the wings? Have you ever had Coach Joe's? Yeah, look, hit the hit the tambourine. It's Coach Joe's jumbo wings. Oh, my Lord. How many should you get? Five pounds of these things? They are ridiculous. That's all I'll tell you. Uh, and you can bake them in the oven. You can refry them. Do whatever you want. Uh, but they are awesome. Uh, they're uh, five pounds of wings and the most delicious, tasty wings you've ever seen. They're free shipping and handling today. Take advantage of free shipping uh, when you can. That's the way to go. All right, we're going to move on. My good friend Taylor Mock is here. Hi, Hi Taylor. How, How are you? you? It's I good always to see have you, so much fun we, with you. We always have a blast. And, we and do. this is the first time we've done this, this pie together. And I will tell you, if you love apple pie, be prepared for something you've probably never tried before. Okay. This is the most amazing apple pie I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Now, I am a big apple pie fan, but I will be honest, and I'm just because I want you to know, there are apple pies on the market that are kind of a tart apple pie. Mm -hmm. That's not this pie. This pie is definitely on the sweeter side, which I, right. when I'm eating apple pie, I want a sweet apple pie. It is. All right, I'm one of those guys that loves tons of that topping and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, this pie has the, uh, the, uh, the most incredible crust on it of all time because they make it using cookie dough. It's a cookie crust pie. <laughs> I don't know what they season this thing with. I don't know what the apples are. All I know is when you take a bite of this pie, and yes, I know it's not a cheap pie, all right, you get a, you get the big jumbo for thirty nine. You get two of them for for fifty nine. But I will tell you, if you're gonna buy pies for holiday, you should get this thing. Anyway, yeah. I, as you can see, I'm pretty. I know you are really well, pumped because, about this. Let me tell Who's you, pumped? I know you can, anybody can go to the pie and then go to the supermarket and get a pie for ten fifteen bucks, That's right? right? Not the same deal. This is, this pie is special. This is farm to table. I mean, yeah. this is straight from the elegant farmer themselves in southern Wisconsin. It started out in 1946 as a good old dairy farm. And then later in 1992, they created the three pound apple pie. Now, just like Guy said, there is something extra special about this pie. Not that it's just three pounds, but also it's got two layers of crust. Guy, like you said, there yeah. is that sugar cookie crust on yeah. top that you're seeing right here. However, on the very bottom of this pie is that grandma crust that we all <laughs> so love and good. adore. Remember our grandmas used to make rolled out the dough. So yeah. they use those two types of crust, but on top of that, the best part, the most important part of a successful pie is the type of apples that you put in the pie. Now they use Ida red apples. So the, go ahead and put some caramel on and I see you got it ready. I gotta do this. <laughs> so uh, they use Ida red apples and Ida red apples are essentially the most crispiest apple that you can get while baking. So Elegant Farmers decided, you know what? We're not just gonna make this pie, but we're gonna bake it in a brown paper bag. And you're, you're yeah. confused right now because you're like, well, I don't get it. How, how does that concept work? This is how it works. Oh it's going to be <laughs> cooked in before it even reaches your front doorstep, guy. This is what's so great. It's already baked for you. <laughs> it's our, Go ahead, take this a bite. Is, I know you want to. Is it me or am I the only one that thinks this is a sexy pie? <laughs> 
Am I the only? Prince, what do you think? Are you up there, Prince? Uh, it is. <laughs> it's just, a pretty sexy pie. Uh, my director just said, I'm, I'm in love right now. <laughs> I'm in love. All right, I will tell you. Now, again, you can see the cinnamon. You can see all the... See, I like that, too. Notice it's not... Now, this pie, we didn't heat this pie. Right, right now, you can now you take it out of the oven. It's even crazier. We didn't heat this pie because we wanted to show you exactly what it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when when you're going to be serving, because a lot of people will either do warm apple pie or they do room temperature. Mm -hmm. But I wanted you to see how thick and how that. Look at the. Do you it see is. all that goo in there? That's good oh, stuff. Oh yes, and see that is non-GMO. This is fresh farm what? ingredients. I mean, even down to the butter. This is churned, creamed butter from southern Wisconsin, from the Elegant Farmers Farm. And then what they do is they put it all the fresh <sighs> ingredients inside this pie on top of literally. I'm talking about hand picked apples guy mm -hmm. handpicked from their orchards and then not only is it chopped up and it's crispy in your pie but somebody is making each and every single one of these pies by hand thousands upon thousands of pies are sold this every so weekend so much love that goes <clears throat> in this pie so let me much tell you love. something all right i'm gonna eat. I'll drive to vermont all the time mm. in the winter time you know when i used to, when i used to live up there I live mm. in connecticut mm. and there are orchards everywhere up there as you know and this is a big time of year right now for them. You're mm -hmm. at the end of apple season, but now they have the pies and they have the cider and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. When you take a bite out of this, out of these apples, you close your eyes, you would swear you were, at, back you were at an apple farm. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, it's it is true. that. And here's the other thing. The apples that they choose for this are just a little bit on the tart side. And that's why when I say this is, this is not a tart pie, but th there's enough sweetness that's put into it that gives the whole thing this amazing, mostly sweet, little bit sour, but mostly sweet flavor. And then, of course, you have the, the cookie topping. The cookie crust. That crumb yes. bottom. I mean, I don't know if you, if you can see what's on here. I got to get somebody. Where's Joe Harrison? We should have Joe. <laughs> I have a toy show with Joe, and I know he's a big and apple pie fan. He's a big fan. apple pie fan. Well, but let me tell you. This is actually, I'm going to tell you, guy. This is America's number one selling apple pie. It has been featured in so many magazines, so many crazy <clears> cooking <throat> shows, and every time this has won. Yeah, you know who you know who would eat this pie is like, you know the real highfalutin people out there? Oh, where yeah. They eat it, they probably buy it just because it's, you know, they're like, hey, it's an expensive pie, it's gotta be good. <laughs> it's worth it. This pie is worth it every is. bit of, 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 of the pennies you pay for it. Oh, I yeah. am telling you, it is so worth it. All right, Joe Harrison, come on out here. Do I have a piece for Joe? Yes. I, can, Joe, come you can have a slice. Hey, look, you can have a give an me. extra fork. Give him a clean here, fork. Here, I got my clean fork. I mean, fork I know right you're here. good friends. All right, but. Joe. Here, now nah, you you can work on that side. Yes. Just take a nice big piece off of that pie. Oh, that looks, I love so, the crust. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Get some of that in there, Joe. That is cookie crust. That is sugar. And we didn't even crust. heat this yet. This is just now. I want you to taste that. Now, yeah, because essentially you really don't have to have a hot pie. It comes mm. to your door. You could thaw it out, Joe. eat it, or cook it yeah. in the oven. The crunch of the apple. The crunch, yeah. The Go crunch ahead. of the apple, the crunch of the crust, yeah. and you get that burst of cinnamon. Oh, that's delicious. And Joe, don't you like? Like I said before, it's not a sour pie. No, 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 this no. Is, no. This is this is the kind of pie we like. This is yes. a nice sweet pie. Just Has the a perfect middle in between. Little on the apple, right? Go ahead, Joe. You take it on with you. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna finish. Yeah, go you go ahead. Bye, Joe. <laughs> See you later, Joe. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's got great toys coming up in the next hour, by the way. I just listen. Joe and I are huge fans of like holidays, Sweet. families, cooking. We love mm -hmm. that stuff. I, oh, I know yeah. his family, wonderful. His kids, his beautiful wife, and I with my son. You know, we we love the holidays. That. That pie screams holiday pie. To it me. does. It really does. Right? And it, show oh, everybody how it comes in the box. I just stepped so on your foot. I'm it's so a sorry. Three pound apple pie. Okay. <laughs> Let me just reiterate. It's a that. lot of pie. Three pounds. Okay. Yes, it is an eight inch it's apple pie. A lot of pie. bang for your buck on it that pie. Is, it is. So it's going to feed the whole family plus some. You don't have to cut it up in eight pieces. I've actually served it as 10 slices and it's so filling because it's an inch thick. So much to offer in here. So the um, the brown paper bag, real quick, I just want to let you guys know that what this circle does is it, it it browns that sugar cookie crust. Yeah. And what it also does on the sides is it's going to steam all those apples inside, still allowing the Ida Red apples to be crispy, but however, the sugar cookie crust is still going to be crispy on top. And you bake this fresh when you get it home? How so does this work? So it's already 
So, baked for so you. So it's all done. So so when I so when I get it home, it's it's three twenty five. It's gonna be frozen. You put it on in the oven for three twenty five for okay. for about fifty to sixty oh minutes. Gosh. That that's what we recommend. <laughs> Joe can't stop eating the pie. Look, I, I know I see you over there. Joe, you know, it's it's really but, good, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. He loves good. it. So you don't have to worry really about cooking it from scratch. Elegant Farmers has already done that for you. All you have to do is worry about spending that extra time I with know. your family, your friends during the holidays. I mean, really enjoying it and enjoying this pie at the same you time. You know, I, I looked at some of the reviews and things like that, and most people love, love, love this pie. And as I said before, you know, let's we'll just be upfront here. This pie costs a little bit more, mm -hmm. but it is worth it, okay? I saw one of the reviews, and she's like, oh, you know, it's great, but it's a little expensive. And I'm like... Get it for the holiday. holiday. I mean, get this and buy them. I mean, you it's, know, yeah, maybe it's a little more, but it's like, wouldn't you? For me, I'm one of those people. I don't know, Joe, maybe you're like this to a couple of... I don't mind paying the money if, if the product is great. It's, yes. It's like, I'll go and I'll spend $50 mm -hmm. on, a, on a Wagyu filet mignon because I'm like, that is the best it's going to get. This is like Wagyu pie, okay? That's what this is like. <laughs> I love that. It is. So, then we're going to change it to Wagyu apple pie. Well, you know, guys. Because you'll be wagging your tail all over the place when you eat it. I'll tell you, you that much. Cracks me up. <laughs> so, you know, talk about um, a great conversation piece at the table. Yeah. To say that this pie was handmade it's in heavy. southern Wisconsin from an individual who stacked this pie, three pound oh, pie. Look with special hand-picked apples, and, and every at, ingredient is You see how buttery is it is? It's baked inside. Oh, you can see the that butter. Oh, that's that churned butter. It soaks that right That is that churned, bag. fresh butter wow. right off oh the farm. Oh, my gosh. Right is, off the farm. This is so beautiful. <laughs> All right, listen, we are inside a minute. We didn't bring a ton of these in. Uh, if you'd like yes. to get one, uh, you can get one. You can get two as well. Um, hey, Jared, do we have also have these? Are these pies available on auto ship too? I thought they were, where you can order them and get them on. So yes. you can order You can order today. It's basically on an extended delivery. So if you want this for, for uh, December, it'll ship out, I believe, on December 14th is the days that it'll ship out. So you'll get it in plenty of time. So if you don't want it for, for you know, Thanksgiving, which this would be for, you can order it for uh, Christmas time as well. Get two of them because I know what'll happen. You're gonna eat one mm -hmm. and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh. And you can keep them in the freezer. Three don't months. Worry about any of that Up stuff, to so. three months it'll stay fresh in the so freezer. Good. Back. All right, you're not going anywhere. We're not I'm letting not. you leave because there's rumor is you got a ham that you're gonna oh, I do. talk about in a sack. So, all right, still available and very popular uh, was our Gianna's four pack of chocolates. Um, and uh, you're gonna love that. Four pounds are individually um, in their own tins, holiday tins. Um, so you can send them out. You can give them as gifts at the office. You can give them to your, hey, give them, how about to your kids that are school teacher? I mean, a school teacher would love to get a box of chocolates. Chocolates are so sweet and sweet at the same time. So anyway, $59.95 is all you will pay for those who want to get those. All right. From Elegant Farmer, we continue. And thank goodness I have something savory to eat because all I've been doing is eating sweet things. Uh, Taylor Mock is here with us. And I, here's what I will tell you. All our kitchen staff, our wonderful chefs, they're all sitting wonderful. here watching us. And I go to them when I, whenever I come in, I say, hey guys, you guys are experts, what do you think? And you all said it, right? Amanda, you were like, guy, this ham is ridiculously oh, good. Yes. First of all, it's boneless, okay? It has mm. the most amazing sweetness, the perfect amount of salt and smoke. It is super lean, but it is really, really juicy. That's right. Uh, this is a uh, five pound ham. It's called cider baked. Mm -hmm. What is it? What, what okay, do they do so to this? Because this ham is, is crazy good. So here's the deal. Have you ever heard of an apple cider infused ham? You I probably do cider, have. I do a cider brine turkey. Okay. So let me tell you where that concept originally came from. Elegant Farmers was the original farm to come out with an apple cider infused ham. And that's exactly what they did. Now, this is fresh. From the farm, of course, Elegant Farmers, what they do is they take their uh, fresh hand-pressed mm. apple cider straight from those, the farm, hand-picked apples, they juice it, they press it, they get that apple cider, they then ship it to another farm with great 
great ham, and then they inject it, or in other words, they uh, they, they let it marinate yeah, let it marinate. inside I the do meat. do the same thing with turkeys. Exactly. Yeah. And so you're thinking right now, without tasting it, is this going to be too sweet, right? Because you think apple wow. apple Could cider is sweet. Look how juicy it is. But it's not. It is the perfect medium between not too not too sweet, not too salty. We've all we all had that very salty ham, that fatty salty ham. And the great thing, oh look at you, are, look at I you. I will until you the are a come baster. I am, he a baster knows what he's doing over here. <laughs> and now this base is easy. All, all all we did here was just brown sugar. Honey yeah, and apple cider. That's all you need. Look, he knows what he's and talking about. And cider is such a wonderful medium um, to, to, to use in things like that, in dressings and in, yep. in rubs and things like that. Look at how beautiful this comes out. Oh, it's gorgeous. This would probably, I mean, this is five pounds. How many people do you think this would feed? I have to feed like at least 10, 15 people, Well, right? let me show you. Scooch on over okay. here. You, okay, you so slice this, it up for this me? is the ham completely cut, okay? Look how many slices this yeah, is. Now, this is this is thick slices too. These aren't just thin slices. Right. I mean, this could easily feed 10 people. In fact, I've had eight people at my house. My family came over because we wanted to try out this ham. Right. We had so much leftovers, Guy, and that's why we're kind of showing you what else you can do besides just, of yeah, course, and you've the done, holiday you ham. You did sliders over there. We have ham and cheese sliders. These are a hit after the holidays. You have all that leftover meat. What to do with it? I'm giving you some ideas here. We have an amazing food stylist, Miss Amanda. Shout yeah. out to her. She's got this yeah. incredible uh, potato ham yeah, this, breakfast skillet. This isn't going to oh. be terrible, is it? What so is that? Delicious. Is it scallop potatoes with oh, chunks yes. of ham? That's right. Right now, my producer, Jared. Hey, Jared, Go do you want to take a look at what I'm doing right now? He's jealous. He hates me. He's jealous. <laughs> so, uh, with the ham, all you do, it's already mm. cooked. Remember, it's going to come to your door already oh cooked. If you want this ham hot, you're going to Preheat mm. your oven, 325. You're gonna put it in for 15 minutes per pound. Now, remember, this is a five pound ham. Yeah. So that's about an hour and 15 minutes, not long at all. You don't even have to put it in the oven. Mm. Let's say you like cold ham. Well, let it thaw out on the, on the counter once you get it in the house. Let it sit there, do what you please with it. I mean, it's it's meant to make your life mm. so much easier during the holidays. Yeah. Now this one, by the way, is not pre-sliced. Right? No, it's not pre-sliced. Which, which, to be honest, I, you know, you, some people like to slice hams because of convenience, mm -hmm. but you, what you'll find is if you're looking for ham to be more juicy um, and a little, and, and to be honest, just I think they taste better, do your own slicing. I mean, there's no bone to work around, there's so it's no very bone. easy. You can slice, and it gives you the ability to slice thick or thin. It, it does, and it, like I showed you earlier, that that plate is actually not even sliced with an electric knife. It was just a, a regular knife, so it's very, yeah. very tender, very juicy. I'm gonna give you this, just so you can have something to sip on, and a little bit of apple cider to go with your apple cider. Here's my friend. Ham. <laughs> I'm Here's just, my friend. I'm feeding him today. Me I'm, ham I'm and cider. You so well. <laughs> well, what's better than ham and cider? Is there it, anything? I mean, true. those are, these are the things that are just wonderful and and, and cider holiday. It, it's so great you know I, apples to me are holiday I'll, and, always I always think about the mm -hmm. fall and you think about apples I grew up up in New England mm -hmm. and as I said you know we have a house up in Vermont so <clears throat> you know we would drive through we would drive through apple orchards all the time and what you can do with the wonderful apple is just so many different things right it makes a great marinade mm. it's great in dressings it's great on ham it's great in turkey it's great Everything. in all these things and and honestly it just makes life so easy so if you are Getting this ham today it might not be a bad idea to grab up a little, grab a little cider. Yes, do it. If you can find the unfiltered stuff, that's even better. Uh, and just and use that um, when you're basting either your turkeys or your hams or whatever. But this just takes all the guesswork out. You don't need to do anything but take this out of the bag. Mm -hmm. That's all right? it. When it comes to you, it's going to come it's frozen. Done. It's going to come so frozen. So you let it thaw. Door, let it yeah. thaw out. You don't even have to let it thaw out. No. You don't. You can actually just go eat it like a big ham straight to freeze. <laughs> I got to just take a big. You have to eventually. <laughs> uh, you could, you could, but we'll be a little classier. And what we'll right. do is we'll just but put you it could, in the like oven. Like you said, you could but put you, it right in the freezer and leave it there. And or you, let me just tell you something. Yeah. If you decide, okay, I want it for Thanksgiving, and you say no. You know what? I want to wait until Christmas, but I just ordered it. How long is it going to stay fresh? It can actually stay fresh in your refrigerator, unopened for two months, mm. in the freezer for three months, and if you decided to open it, yeah. two weeks in the refrigerator and already open. Taylor, they can order this. For extended delivery too. Exactly. So if you want to get, <clears throat> you want your ham delivered on uh, or shipped out on uh, middle of December, mm -hmm. so you can have it for holiday then, because a lot of people really love a ham for Christmas, because you know, figured they do turkey for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I love it. 
I either do a ham or I do duck for Ooh, Christmas. I love both of those. Sometimes I'll do, I'll do both because I think a ham and a duck mm. go great together. Mm. Uh, and you can do one like this. And what's nice about the five pounds Delicious. size, this is perfect when you're adding it as one of your meat selections to a party. So let's say you did a ham and you did duck or you did a turkey or you did roast beef or, or mm -hmm. prime rib and you wanted to have some ham on the table as well. This five pound size is perfect because it's still gonna feed, I would say probably feeds about 10 it's people. It's about 10 people, yeah. yeah. And you're still gonna have a little bit of leftovers, remember. <laughs> Usually, I mean, for instance, look at this ham steak right here, okay? Oh, That's man. a good slice. It's a good thick slice. Of sure. course, you can make it a little thinner, and then you're going to get more meat out of it. But a five-pound ham is is a really, really good size. And, of course, you're going to have all your sides anyway. I mean, uh, now, I did forget to mention that mm -hmm. it's double hickory smoked, okay? So you're really going to get the hit off you, you taste that hickory. I have a couple pieces <clears> here <throat> if you want to yeah, just try it by them. itself. Yep. Um, so you're going to taste the hickory side of it, but then you're going to get a little bit of that apple cider, that completely mm. apple-fused, straight-pressed, no GMOs, no um, fake ingredients. I mean, this right. is the real thing. I mean, when you buy it at a grocery store, you taste the fat in it, that gritty, you know what I'm talking about? That yeah, gr or it's gristle. rubbery. It's just, and, uh, yeah. I, I taste that too, or it's really dry or it's inconsistent throughout the mm -hmm. ham. You'll notice that the slices mm -hmm. are very, very consistent throughout mm -hmm. here. Um, and you'll also notice that although it's got, it goes through the whole process, would I call this a smoky ham? No, mm -hmm. I don't. I would probably call this more of a sweet more ham. More of a sweet, but not too sweet. Not too sweet, um, but, but I think those are the bolder, the more bold flavors. I don't like a real, real strong, strong smoke on stuff. Um, there's a very famous bacon company that's really, really strong uh, that, I, that I like for certain things, but it's really smoky. But overly, right? You got them, I mean, you, you know, you're chewing a piece of charcoal when you eat a lot of that stuff. And, it, mm -hmm. and it, sometimes it's good for things. This, you want to be just subtly sweet and smoky, and you want to have that consistency of flavor. And I also am one of those people that loves ham leftovers. Oh, okay? the and so, best. And, and you have given us so many ways so to do that. So many ideas. I yeah. mean, honestly, there's endless ideas. Wake up in the morning, you know everybody's completely stuffed after Thanksgiving, right. after Christmas. They're like, I'm never eating again in my life, but then everybody wakes up and they're starving. This is where you utilize those leftovers. You can make breakfast with it. You can make a lunch. Look at this, this is a, uh, a healthier lunch. It's just chopped up ham, um, a little bit of apples in there with light ranch or light mayonnaise, and there you go, put it on a croissant. There's your lunch. Yeah. There's your uh, dinner for leftovers the next night. I mean, it's endless amount of ways and, that you can use And it. ham, because it does have a certain degree of salt in it, also has a really good shelf life when you're mm -hmm. keeping it in the fridge. Unlike a lot of meats, you know, because it is, it's a, you know, can be, it's a cured type of meat that um, it does last a little bit longer. I love taking a piece of ham and just pan frying it. Mm. You can do your, you know, you can do your red eye gravy. If you love, if you got leftover coffee, you can do that. But a little like a slice of ham and an egg. First of all, that's a pure protein breakfast. Okay, it's low in carbs. Okay, mm -hmm. a little bit of carb from the sugar on the ham, but not much. But it is such a nice breakfast. And, and oh, unlike look at that bacon, juiciness. don't get me wrong, I love me some bacon, but but ham still gives you that satisfaction of a smoked meat mm -hmm. without a lot of the fat which That's bacon true. has. It so, is very true. So I find it to be a little bit lighter. And again, ham is universal across all holidays. So whether you're serving it, um, you know, obviously Easter is the big time that Easter's people good. love to yep. do ham, but a lot of people like to do it at Christmas. Some people like to put a ham out. Um, with a turkey at Thanksgiving, um, you know, like that's what uh, we do. We have yeah. we have both. I mean, it's it's always good to it's have nice. two different tasting yeah, meats. And true. there's more. Honestly, I know there's a lot you can do with a turkey, but in my opinion, I think there's actually more that you can do with a ham. Oh yeah, that's just yeah. my opinion. I mean, the, no, the totally. ingredient list is way more longer. Yeah, than turkey. You can, turkey. You can you know you can do you can make turkey soup, which is great. Yeah. But for ham. That can go in anything, anything because ham is like is is like bacon. It goes yeah. on everything, right? Oh, yeah. You can use it with everything. You can chop it up. It goes great in desserts. You can put it in quiche. You can do all those same things. You don't put turkey in quiche. No. Okay. Enough said. It, but you can use ham for anything. It's true. And you know, think about it this way: you're thinking, well, why can't I just go to the store and buy a cooked ham? I mean, I'm sure they have something similar. The truth mm -hmm. is, they don't. You do not know what they put in their ham. With this ham from the Elegant Farmer, you know exactly what this ham has. That is that hand press. This is not fake artificial apple cider flavoring. This is the real deal, y'all. This is the real deal. Hand picked off of the tree, pressed, gone to a separate 
farm in southern Wisconsin where the ham is. Then it's injected. It's infused inside the ham. There is no GMOs, no fake ingredients. This is a healthy ham in that you know that your family is going to get. And on top of that, that's another great story to add to the dinner table. Yeah. Where it came from. Right. Oh, oh, now, I just bought mine at the local grocery yeah, store. No, you you want, know what I mean? You want <laughs> your ham to have a story. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why like, not? well, let me tell you, I was watching TV and I came mm -hmm. across this attractive, I mean, this yeah. couple of people that were talking about <laughs> hams and I decided to give it a try. By the way, yeah. you have our, remember, you have our, our money back guarantee on all this stuff. So you get to try it. If you don't like it, you can always send it back. But I love food that's delivered. I think it makes life it's so great. much easier. And you're going to love it too, Taylor. You're a doll. Thank oh, you so thank much you for guys. being here. We have so much fun. We really do. Stick around. We got holiday gifts coming up next. Tis the season to be a VIP. Apply for the HSN credit card and instantly get $20 off when you're approved. As an HSN card member, you'll get all kinds of perks, like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. HSN Cares is dedicated to empowering women and helping families in times of need. We partner with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital so that families never receive a bill from St. Jude because all a family should worry about is helping their child live. This year marks HSN's ninth annual HSN Cares Designer Ornament Collection 